Foundation Academy presents The Castle! Written and narrated by the orators of Sha Tin Junior School. Over thousands of years ago, in an underwater hidden sea world called Superstar, there was an enormous castle looking shiny and golden. It was built of glass with jewels all over the castle walls. It was believed to be hiding a lot of treasures and expensive jewels. There was a royal family looking for a safe place to live. Their old castle was destroyed by enemies. They needed a home. They walked for miles and experienced dangerous times. They were feeling lost. The lucky day had come. They saw the shiny castle looking abandoned. They quickly walked towards it. They called it Rainbow Castle as it will be their new home. From then on, the royal family lived safely together. There were two princesses, a dog man, a cat girl, and a cat boy. Princess Mermaid was 12 years old, and she looked like Cinderella. She was beautiful and happy, with long yellow hair. She liked to smile, and she liked to wear her blue dress every day. Princess Jill was older than Princess Mermaid. They were friends since they were young. Princess Jill was 16 years old, skinny and a helpful and kind person. She had short blonde hair and she liked wearing her rainbow checkered pattern dress. She liked to take care of animals more than Princess Mermaid did. There were three loyal guards who were half animal and half human, protecting the two princesses. They would walk around the castle to protect it. The first guard, called Harold, was half dog and half man. His head was a dog face and the lower part of his body was a man body with brown skin. He held a sharp black sword to guard the castle door. On his waist, he carried another weapon, a dog bone tied with a string and attached to another dog bone. He said, I can swing it and hit enemies. The second god called Sammy was half cat and half girl. Her head was a cat and her body was a girl. She had orange skin and white paws. She was skinny. Her tummy area was white. Her weapon was a big brown knife for attacking and slicing. The third guard, called Petty, was half cat and half boy. His head was a cat and body was a boy. He was covered mainly in orange with black horizontal stripes all over. He liked to use a whistle to signal bad things coming and used a microphone to shout and call for help. Other guards would then come over to fight enemies. His weapon was a double dog bone used like fighting sticks. One night before Princess Jill was about to sleep, she bent down and found a box. Princess Mermaid knocks the door and said, Can I come in? Yes, come on in, said Princess Jill. What's that? Princess Mermaid asked. Princess Jill looked surprised. I'll open this pink box. And she opened it. Princess Mermaid said, oh my gosh, a pack of diamonds and gems, too, pink and orange. Princess Jill said, we'll have to protect it. Maybe we should put a passcode lock. Princess Mermaid agrees, yes, I have one to put on. We'll keep the jewels safe. One week later, a volcano exploded near the Rainbow Castle. A volcano black monster crawled out. He was called Hilly and he was average size. He had six hands used for crawling and one leg crawled over his head like a scorpion. 
He had red eyes that could shoot out fireballs, and his mouth could blow out fire flames. Henley shouts, "I'm hungry! I'm going to hunt for food and treasure!" He saw the castle in front of him. He stared at the gate door and shoot out fireballs that quickly broke it down. Teddy saw Helly was entering to the castle and blew his whistle. Help! 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 Teddy said using his microphone. Sammy and Harold quickly came. We have to protect the princesses, Teddy said. It's a battle. Let's go, said Sammy. Howard yelled, "I'm killing you today, Bat Hilly!" Hilly blew out several times, and fire flames were surrounding them. Petty shouted, "We're trapped now!" The two princesses looked out the window from the living room and saw Hilly. Princess Jill was worried the pink box might get stolen, so she hid it in her closet. Princess Mermaid said, "Protect the." Princess Jill. Helly had strong smell that could smell where the treasure were hiding. I need the treasure so I can go to the weapon shop. Helly was going towards the living room area. Harold jumped over flames. No, you won't. I'm gonna eat you for dinner. He hit Helly with a dog bone and used the sword to hit his back. Hilly screamed, "No!" Sammy came along. I'm going to slice you. She used her paws to scratch his face. <laughs> Hilly screamed again, "No!" Pity joined. I'm going to make you dizzy. He used the double bones to smack his face. Hilly shouted, "So much pain!" A policeman called. His also came, and he had a red rhino horn to use for attacking. Hilly saw the horn and shot out some fireballs from his eyes. His got away and say, "How dare you!" He hit Hilly on his chest. Hilly said, "Oh no!" and fell on the ground. Harold said, "Let's tie the monster with strings." Pity asked, "What's next?" Sammy said, "Destroy him." Everyone helped to tie Hilly. "Let's throw Hilly in the river," said his. "Will he wash away far, far away?" asked Pity. Harold said, "Yes, he'll be gone forever."